let's consider this given question. For what values of x is this function continuous at x equal to 3? And thereafter, we are going to choose from one of these options. To solve this, let's understand the question. The upper part is known as left hand limit, while the lower part is known as right hand limit. Next, you can see that for both sides, x is tending to 3. That means on the number line, this is 3. Next, you can observe that the left hand limit can approach 3 but will not be equal to 3. Next, you can observe that the right hand limit can approach 3 and can be equal to 3. Next, for the continuity of a function, the left hand limit must be equal to the right hand limit. This is a condition for the continuity of this function. Because of this condition, we are going to equate the upper part and the lower part. Next, we can observe that this denominator can be reduced to difference of two squares. This denominator can equally be represented like this. Both are the same. Recap difference of two squares. A squared minus b squared equal to a minus b in bracket a plus b in bracket subsequently x squared minus 3 squared will be equal to x minus 3 in bracket x plus 3 in bracket this is the rule governing difference of two squares and the variables must be separated with a negative. Next, I'm going to modify this denominator respecting the rules of difference of two squares. This is the same as this and is the same as this. Next, x minus 3 and x minus 3 can cancel out and this will remain. Next, take the limit of both sides as x tends to 3. This simply means instead of x, I'm going to put 3 on both sides. Next, we have 3 plus k is equal to 1 over 6. Next, k will be here and 3 we move over to the other side and we are going to have 1 over 6 minus 3. Next, this is also like 3 over 1. Next, k is now equal to, we need to go like this first, 1 times 1 and we are going to have 1. Next, we put a minus. Next, 6 multiply by 3 and we're going to have 18. Next, we're going to put a division. Next, 6 multiply by 1 and we're going to have 6. And our answer is minus 17 over 6. And this is our answer. And from the options, we choose B. You can check out other videos and topics in Precalculus. And you can follow the link on the screen to locate other videos. I will see you in the next video.